Hi, this is Peter Davies from Jigsaw Trading. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the new features in version 5.2.9 of Jigsaw Tools. So first of all, let's look at these new histograms. You can see here on the current trades and over here on the total trades columns, we are now showing these blue and pink histograms. So it makes it easier to visually distinguish the relative differences in size traded. The current trades histogram is going to be off by default when you install the upgrade, but the total trades histogram will be on by default. Now to change the settings to switch them on and off, very simply go to appearance, current at ask, there's the flag for the histogram, current at bid, there's the checkbox for the histogram there, and total at ask, total at bid. So you just switch those on and off and you can set the histogram colour here. So that's fairly self-explanatory. Um, the histograms will clear. Um, if you're clearing down trades and they will be scaled to the largest number on either side so the pink column isn't scaled separately to the blue column they're scaled together so you can actually compare them with each other now in this version we've also integrated a product called price squawk into the reconstructed tape and this product is an audio version of time and sales this isn't our product it's actually a separate company that produces this product but basically the idea behind the integration is to actually give you the audios based on the trades, the reconstructed trades in the reconstructed tape. So the audio signals kind of give you an audio view of the price action, the volume trade, the aggressiveness without actually having to look at the tape. And it's an excellent way to tune into the market. So to launch the price cork tool, you just click the no button. Let's turn the sounds off for a second. So what you can see here, we've got a price ladder. We can actually put prices in where alerts will send when we get there. There's a lot of configuration options in here. So take a look in the manual uh, to get all the details. What I've been using it for, uh, I minimize this so because I'm not really interested in the ladder. I like the trade sounds, but I also like the new bid ask alert sound. So the trade sounds is one uh, alert per trade on the reconstructed tape. Now obviously I'm using a filtered tape here on the right and I usually have the filtering set to 100 but obviously uh, for the purpose of this video I've got it set slightly low so let's just click turn on the, sound, the trade sounds okay and what you'll find is as price ticks up and goes up and up and up the pitch will get higher and higher and higher so as the trades are going on you can hear which side they're hitting but you can also get a good feel for the direction and then we also have a sound for new bid and ask Let's just click that on and it might take a minute or not to, there you go and that's basically giving us a sound when the market ticks up or down as you can see we've got a little bit of a tussle here where it kind of ticking up and down between a couple of prices and what I like to do for this is I actually like to set the trade sounds and the new bid ask alert on. So remember I'm just looking at trades over 100 so I put both on like this. And now there's no trades, that's wonderful, let me just change the filter. And let's try again with just the trade sounds on. And I think as you notice, as it was ticking down there, it started to get lower as it was ticking down. So anyway, all of the Jigsaw customers, you can actually get a free two-week trial of this tool. Um, like I say, it's not our tool. You have to go to Price Squawk to get this tool. Uh, it comes with a free two-week license with Jigsaw. So you can all have a little play with it, uh, see if you like it. It is a very useful tool. Um, it sounds a bit strange. I think Graham's somewhat of a nutty professor. But he's definitely onto something with this. 
So anyway, that uh, completes our short video on the new features of uh, version 5.2.9. We've also got some fixes going into this version as well. So please have a look at the website, see if those fixes affect you. And uh, look forward to the next version. Thank you.